Hello, mi gente. ¿Cómo anda? Hola. I'm, uh, I'm honored on so many uh, sides of my heart here because uh, not only is Carlos a fellow Cuban, I'm a Cuban-American of Cuban-American parents uh, from Miami, uh, but Carlos is an incredible artist who I admire and respect. Uh, actually, long before uh, I was invited today, I always was a big fan of his song, William uh, Guillermo Tell. We'll talk about that later today. We have a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Uh, but I'm very honored uh, for that, and thank you, Jackie. Thank you, HBO Latino. I think it's, it was about time that Hispanicize and HBO got together in some capacity. So thank you, and we hope to build from this today. Um, I had the opportunity to watch this documentary, uh, and I have to tell you, I'm not going to actually tell you much because you're going to see it. You're going to notice. But there is an incredible authenticity and energy to it. Ron Chapman, uh, the director, the director, by the way, of, of several rock docs. Uh, if you're a fan of uh, The Police, of U2, or Lady Gaga, uh, more recently, prior to... So, by the way, uh, Carlos Varela is following in the footsteps of Lady Gaga. That's, you know it's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to ask Ron about that later. But anyways, uh, this, this film, uh, prior to be acquired, being acquired by uh, HBO, uh, was in the, in the film festival circuits, and it's won a bunch of awards. You're, I think you're going to notice why. One of the interesting things about the film, and we'll talk about that as well, again, I, I just don't know where to start, is that I think that the music in the film is really, honestly, it's even better than the CDs that I've heard before. So you're going to be in for an incredible treat. Anyways, um, this evening was brought together by HBO, HBO Latino, and one of its affinity groups called Alianza. It's a group dedicated to promoting diversity and celebrating Latino culture within HBO. So thank you, HBO. It's a, it's a great tribute to your focus on the, the roots of, of multicultural America for you to be able to bring these things together and the content together. Um, a couple things. Uh, tonight, I want to encourage you to use social media. So it behooves you to please help promote what we're doing together. Uh, the hashtag is not the poet of Havana. It's poet of Havana. Take the the out, making it shorter, sweeter, to the point. And of course, tag uh, whenever possible at HBO Latino. Finally, um, we decided to kick off this presentation by showcasing some other great poets that are among us. And I'm going to introduce the three of them in, uh, in order of how they're going to appear today. So the three poets um, that are going to come to the stage in a moment are Caridad de la Luz. I did not make up the part I'm about to tell you. Her nickname is La Bruja. Is this because it's Halloween? So La Bruja, would you, uh, you're, she's going to start. By the way, where's La Bruja? Because I didn't mean, I didn't get to meet you before. So. Sorry, I didn't know. La Bruja is beautiful. A beautiful Bruja. Okay, there we go. You should just say the beautiful Bruja. Because Bruja is like... <laughs> Um, as many of you, of you may know, she's legendary award-winning Bronx-bred poet. You know that the Bronx side is yeah. going to bring a different angle to it. And uh, she's a Renaissance woman who's performed internationally and is an ambassador for New York's artistic community. Let's, let's hear it for La Rua. Actually, just wait one more second, one more second, Bruja. Uh, <laughs> You picked your name, so I'm sorry. I love it. <laughs> the second one is Frank Antonio Lopez. He's a hip-hop artist, filmmaker, and educator. And he's a member of the Peace Poets, a New York-based hip-hop group that blends music, poetry, education, and activism. So where is my friend Frank Antonio? Brother, welcome. And finally is a Cuban-born scholar and writer, Odette Casamayor Cisneros. She's an associate professor of Latin American and Caribbean cultures at the University of Connecticut. So 